Hi, this is Andy with Montana Energy Services again, and welcome to part two of our video on how to properly insulate and air seal an attic. Now, if you saw part one, you'll remember that uh, we talked about the importance of sealing air leaks before the insulation goes in. And now in this video, we're going to sh show the actual process of insulating and we'll review some of those air sealing details. Okay, now we're up in the attic and we're, uh, we've done all the air sealing. Now we're blowing in the cellulose insulation. We've got a long hose coming from the truck down uh, on the ground. And Russ, is, uh, Russ has got a controller here and he can turn the, turn the uh, flow of cellulose up or down and on and off. And, we're blowing in about 20 inches of cellulose in this attic. It'll be about an R60 insulation in this attic. From here you can see the catwalk that we built so that once the insulation's all in place, you'll be able to access this attic without messing up the insulation. And then these foam boxes are covering the ductwork that uh, feeds the supply registers in the ceiling. There's a main supply trunk underneath the catwalk. So over here you can see where we've put the uh, vent baffles in. That allows air to move above the insulation so you don't get condensation on the roof. And then at the bottom of that, where, the, uh, where there's very little room for insulation, we put spray foam to give us a good air seal and a pretty good amount of insulation right down in that corner. And then we put these markers in, these vertical markers, to show us how deep to put the insulation. And here's another one of those uh, boxes built around the vents in the attic, the, the ducts in the attic. And the boxes, of course, help to, uh, to seal those up and, and make sure there's good insulation around the ductwork. And then over here you can see the old chimney. And you can see where we've carefully sealed around the bottom of that. That's a place where we often find a lot of air leakage. And then right there you can see the uh, dam we've built around the attic access hatch. So that is the, looking down through the attic access hatch. We build this dam so that uh, we can get the full depth of insulation all the way around the attic access and then it leads right out onto that catwalk that we built that runs all the way down to where Russ is busy blowing more cellulose. So here's Josh back in the insulation truck with the... Uh, Josh, why don't you tell us what, what we're looking at here? Well, this is the safe zone. Uh, Russ is up in the attic doing the actual blowing. This is our machine here. It can do 3,000 per hour. And that's 3,000 pounds per hour. As far as actually loading the machine, it's pretty simple. You don't want to put too many bells in at the same time. If you compact the machine too much, you can either plug Russ's hose or just make, uh, make too much cellulose on the tines all at the same time and slow the machine down. The machine does a fair job of breaking up the bales itself. Of course, it's dangerous in there, but if you want to get a shot. There it is. Exciting stuff. Very exciting. Here we are outside, and there, there's Josh in the truck. Hey, wave, Josh. <laughs> My daughter just got her first bee sting. Oh, no. <laughs> and then you can see the hose. Feeds off around the garage. You can't see from here, but it's going up through a window in the attic there. Now we're on the other side of the garage, and this is where the hose comes through. It goes up, and in that window, and then straight up into the attic up the uh, access hatch. So you can see the rust is getting close to being done up here now. He's just working his way back towards the attic access hatch over here. There's the hatch with the ladder sticking up. Just got a little bit left to do. 
and you can see when I turn this way you can see what he's done filled that whole attic up with about 20 inches of recycled newspaper cellulose insulation and you can see the catwalk running across so we'll be able to get through there in the future and get to things without messing up the insulation and that is how it's done so just to review the way to properly insulate an air seal and attic in order to get the best energy efficiency and the least potential for condensation, rot, mold, moisture problems. Uh, the first thing to do is make sure you've got good ventilation and that's what the vent baffles were for in the video. Then we, if there is ductwork in the attic it needs to be properly insulated and air sealed which is why we built those foam boxes and sealed those. Um, then any other penetrations from the house into the attic need to be air sealed and then before we insulate we build a catwalk to make sure that the insulation isn't going to get messed up in the future um, and will continue to provide really good energy savings to the homeowners for the life of the building. So thanks for watching and uh, please visit, visit us on the web at saveheatnow.com.